Hi, my name is Tim from Surf Insight. You've seen videos that we've got about the jump up practice. And one of the key is rotation of the hip. If we don't rotate the hip when we land on the board, we simply don't land in the correct position. So we're going to have a little look at bad rotation and then show you how you can solve this problem and really help you land correctly on your surfboard. In our jump up, a lot of the time what I see when I'm coaching is a lack of rotation in the air. Now if that hip doesn't come round, I don't mean all the way round, it want to be tight, but if it only half comes round, that doesn't let the foot land in the right position. So rotation is a vital element. If you're looking down, that always limits your rotation. If you're looking up across the wave, that will help your rotation. Let's have a look at an example of bad rotation. Now we know that bad rotation can come from rail holding, but it might be simply that you're just not twisting enough in the air. So even if the hands are in the right position and I don't rotate enough, this is what's gonna happen. Often my vision is forwards. That'll make it a bad rotation. I look, it would help. So if I'm not looking, this can happen. Now at that moment, look, I'm completely off. This foot, wrong place. Front foot, tipping over. There are a number of elements. One of the first elements is to drive hard with the arms, to give yourself space. Letting those legs flick up, that gives yourself space. But rotation of the hip too will make it so much easier to land in the right position on the board. Let's have a look at a good one. Now all the elements are there. We're looking up, the hands in the right position. I'm straight into the sweet spot on the board. Front foot central, back foot's in the back foot patch. I can turn. So in your own practice at home, think about that rotation all the time. Use a mirror, stick it in the corner of the room. You say, oh yeah, I can see I'm not twisting. That's why I'm not landing in the right spot. We're going to have a look at the next clip and you'll see an example of bad rotation and the consequences of it. This is great paddling from Peter, but not enough rotation of the hip. So it actually, his foot's landed on the outside rail, sending him completely the wrong way on the wave. So now you see why hip rotation in our pop-up is such an important element. We all want to hit the water running, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.